evening. Hope you're having a good night. Hope things are going okay for you. Today was my last day at my, at my well, can I say current job? Because technically Tuesday is my last day, but I'm not working now. So, I finished working there. I'm starting my new job a week from now. Well, a week and a day from now, so that'll be quite good. Interesting to see what that's all about. And I expect I'll be contacted to set all that up over the next few days. Who knows? Anyway, tonight, 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 so bright tonight yeah um we are gonna play the room old sins we were playing a wee bit of it the other night and uh yeah we got we got on okay i think we got a decent distance into it i don't know how much more there is left to do still plenty probably uh if we do finish it tonight we've got other games we can play i might jump into a different puzzle game we'll see how we feel about it um but yeah so so far i'm ready for a pretty good uh hopefully a good stream with some puzzles that would be nice, wouldn't it? We can hope the puzzles will be good, but we just don't know. Shall we just jump in and get started? I think we should just jump in and get started. There's the game. There's the game. I'm going to put this background music off. Because we're not going to need that while we're playing the game. Shall we just jump into the room? I need to turn the game volume up, but... Um, if, I, if I didn't do it like that, it would have taken everything else over, so... There we go, we're back. It's the room. Old sins. Let's continue on our quest to solve these fucking puzzles. We've got to load. We've got to wait for the game to load in. I don't know how much we've got left to do. We might still have um, a lot to do. We might not have much to do. The last, the last thing we did, I believe, was we opened this. Um, so which rooms do we still have to finish? We still had to finish this one. The ones at the front are done for now, but we have still got something like one, two, three, four, five to do, I think. Um, we had this room. I think we opened the other one just before la just before we finished last time. Um, but let's have a quick look at this one first and just remind ourselves what's inside. This is the maritime room. Uh, in this room. Bear in mind, we've only got a pearl, and it doesn't seem to be usable with any of this. We had this submarine, which we finished with. We've got this thing, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. I thought it was a telescope, but then I kind of had a closer look and realised it's it's not a telescope. This was the radio that we used to do something in one of the other rooms. We did that. We have not yet sorted this out. Uh, it seems like we're supposed to get these symbols. These symbols to match up on the other side so that we can get this out of there. Um, we managed to get that done, that was easy enough. Uh, but yeah, so those symbols are on both sides. There doesn't seem to be a way yet that I can see to move these symbols. We obviously need something to turn this, I'm assuming. Uh, so there's not much we can do in this room right at this moment, but there is a new room that we just picked up last time we played, which is this room right here. We needed the stairs before we could get there. So let's have a look at this room. This is a new one. We've not really done anything in it. It's the Japanese gallery. We just briefly looked at it last time. Um, so let's see what we got. We've got a weird um, kind of shelving unit thing. There's like a pagoda type thing over there. We've got some dragons. We've got some locations to drop stuff into. We've got some boxes. There's a gap on top of this box for something. The socket is a distinctive shape, you're right. We have two dragons. Can we do anything to the... Oh! We can, make the, we can make the dragons eat. That's exciting. Or at least we can make that dragon eat. Can we do the same to the other one? So we can open or close the dragon's mouths. Uh, there's also some kind of... Meat, some kind of thing there. We can't move that by hand, so we need something to move that with. Is there something similar on the other side? No. Uh, there's like flaps here. But I have no idea what they're for right at this minute. That just takes me to that. We've got this thing over here. Hey, I'm doing alright. How are you? How are you getting on? I'm just trying to see if I can finish this game today. <laughs> if possible. But there's an awful lot of stuff going on, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take. How are you doing? 
got a, a squid octopus and something clearly goes in its eye in its eye socket I hope you're having a good night oh there's a book there that's one of these books I remember there'll be a big bright flash of light when I open this book Let's see what it's all about a history of Japan it says I don't think that's what it is though the bright light continues but oh I'm doing well hope you're having a good one my mind blisters I can't it has the house it warps everything Edward how could you what is this I can't mazes within mazes within mazes within mazes within oh god it burns I have to get it away from him if I can distract it feed it something else if I can buy a moment I can get out I can fetch help I can do you think you can uh, so here we've got an egg, a beetle, looks like a slot for four eggs. That was in the garden, wasn't it? And then we've got this stuff. With little slidey panels. That can't move because of this. We've got a cog there. That doesn't appear to do anything at the moment. No, but we're doing all right at the moment. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, that does turn, but... Oh, it's done something. Okay, so that's opened that section. I guess that's going to do something for us, but I'm not really entirely sure what. These panels... Oh, wait, what does that do? Ah, that drops that, okay. I didn't give it enough time before. And there we get a carved brass sphere. Hmm. And we've got another one of these that we can turn so that we can get that to show up. Okay, so I guess we'll have another one of them further up. Does this glass sphere have to go on that, or...? No, there's nothing we can do with that. We have to get this open. Does that slide? No, that does nothing. Some kind of box in there. We've got space for something on the front of here with some holes. What about this? This is a clam with a shell locked up. I'm assuming that's not it. And the pearl doesn't do anything right now, although that might be a part of the puzzle, I suppose. I wanted to see if I could move that door. That gets me to that one or that one. Can't do anything with that one yet. There are slots on here that are obviously for something. But that's all. Got a drawer we can pull out. Brass emblem may be connected to whatever fits here. Okay, so what fits there then? I felt like that was... That briefly let me do something. But not, not enough to be of any use, I don't think. Uh, there's like a blade here. But there doesn't seem to be anything we can do with it. Is there anything on the side of this box? Of this shelf? There's like a spear or something that we've got to get out by opening this last thing. Hmm. I don't suppose there's anything else in here now. No. Okay. So that's kind of everything on that at the moment. I feel like there must be something I've missed. There's this, which is that blade thing. There's this, where we've got to put something. And there. So there's three of these symbols. There, there, and there. Hmm. I feel like that's supposed to move, because these ones did. But maybe that maybe we need to do this first. Okay, what else do we have? We had the orb that almost looks like a wee bell. Are these buttons or what? These are nothing. There's the, oh, that ties into the other thing that we saw, the brass emblem thing. The emblem thing that was in that drawer that pulled out. That's all that's on this right now. Oh no, there's a wee star. 
some catches there that we can't seem to do anything with at the moment. That doesn't do anything yet. Okay, so that's that. Anything down below? We still need to find... Oh. Would, would a pearl be an eye? Evening, Lynn. How are you doing? That's an eye. An eye for an eye. What does that do for me? Does that open up the tentacles? It moves the tentacles. Horrible tentacles. I'm doing all right, yeah. I had my last day at uh, I had my last day at my job there, so getting looking forward to the new one when it comes. And no suggestion that I'm going to have to that they want me to do any extra shifts or anything like that. Which, to be honest, I'd have said no to anyway. <laughs> so what are these? Can't put anything on the socket while the pincers are closed. Are they not open? Would you not say those are open? No. Right, so what's this for? I can slot those in position, but they don't seem to do much of anything at the moment. Was there only one eye that we needed to put in the... See, there's two eye slots here. It did look like that would go in. No, it doesn't. Do I have to fold them back down? I wonder. Can I fold them back down myself? Can't put anything in the socket while the pincers are closed. So... Oh, I see. If I move that up there, they fold down. I don't have anything to put in there yet. I guess I need something star-shaped. And then I guess we can do something with that. Okay. The door, we still need the symbol for that door. Uh, we need another eye for the, for the octopus. Is it an octopus? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. It's not a squid. Now, and there's these dragons. Now, the only thing I have... The only thing I have is a pearl. Do I need to... So we can close the dragon's mouths. That doesn't do anything. Does this pull up? There's another symbol that goes in there. Oh, there's more of those things there, look. Surely these... Yeah, these are the same thing as the other one. More pincer sort of things. That's what they're called. That's what they're calling them. I've got this. I don't suppose I put the pearl there. Some sort of anim some sort of beetle. There was a picture there about the um the garden fountain. And I'm sure there was something in the garden about eggs and beetles. There's nothing I can do here with the thing. Let's go outside. We've got to kind of jump back and forth in the different the different rooms anyway, because the garden's not completed yet. So let's go in the garden. So we need to obviously find a symbol that goes in that. Now this was the thing about... Was it there? See, there's that... There's the same thing. Egg... Beetle, egg, empty. Three symbols that are similar to the ones we saw in the other place. We've got these things which we still haven't worked out what to do with yet. Because we've got to unlock these clasps. And there's one on every single one of those. That was the water we turned on. I don't think there was anything we could do here yet. Part of the headdress is missing. We don't have it yet. This obviously managed to drop this down. So that we could use that thing. Which was used to move these into position. So these were in the right positions already. There was nothing I needed to move there. Anymore, as far as I'm aware. The gargoyles are all in the right place. That looks like something. But I don't know what. 
There's a hole at the top there. Can't do anything with it. So something about beetles. There's a water trough. Can't put them the the only thing I've got is a pearl. So we've only got these two we've got these two rooms and we've got the maritime room. None of which seem to give us much to go on. I'd rather not rely on, on hints if I can help it, but there might come a time when we need to think about it. There's this box. There's that. That's done. There's this box. I don't suppose the pearl goes in there, no. With this mechanism. We can't move the mechanism. We can't move this at all. There's something that we need to obviously put a tool into there. I would say. Because we need to turn this cog so that we can unlock each of those, I'm guessing. There's this. These require these need to be moved into certain positions. But we don't have the tool to move those. That's done. And this is the little thing. That we can't really do anything with right now. Let's have a look with the lens. Nothing exciting with the lens there. Let's look at the let's look through the lens in the other places because there's obviously stuff we've missed. Obviously stuff we've missed. So that's that, we did that. There's this. There's not really anything new to see there. There must be something in these sections but what I don't know yet some sort of mechanism we need to use that bit's done so we don't need to worry about it right let's look in the other room that we were just in we haven't used the lens in this room at all so far so back we go to the Japanese whatever it is gallery that's what it is What's so? What's this? Nothing. There's this thing. It's a knife that's clasped inside something. This was. We've got to get some kind of brass thing that goes in there. Some sort of brass emblem in there. Nothing else on that bit. There's these dragons. I don't seem to be able to look at any other part of the dragons other than their mouths. And then there's the octopus. But again, we don't have whatever it is we need for this. I guess I can't really do anything until I've got the bits that go in there. That moved the tentacle. That's pretty much it. Nothing out of the ordinary with regard to that. Can we roll the scroll up? Or down? No. I'm just stuck as to what I'm supposed to do with this. We're going to use one hint. They usually don't tell you very much. A tier of the pagoda box rose up. I should inspect it from all angles. So. Well, that's not all angles, is it? Because there's a little doorway that we didn't see because we never actually looked properly. Does that move? Aha! My own fault, I didn't look. There we go, what's this? 
an ornate wooden capsule. How do we open it? I assume we've got to open it. There we go. What does that give me? I feel like that's all right because that hint didn't really tell me very much. So what's this? Oh. Animal symbols. It's a fly. I wonder. Spider to fly. What was the thing? It was the bird to catch the spider. Yes, okay. I don't think there was a fox to catch the to catch the bird, but So that it's the old lady that lived in that swallowed a fly, right? There was a force there was four sockets on something. What was the thing that had four sockets on it? I'm trying to remember. I was quite surprised that it was as straightforward as that. Four slots was on. So this is the trouble. I there was a bit that I saw with four so with four slots on it. That was the brass symbol that we're looking for. I don't think it was any of these. What needed four what needed four things? Was it somewhere here? Yes, there. Okay. Aha! That lets me move that, which lets me move that, which lets me open this, which gives me an unfinished wooden sculpture. And that has the star shape on the bottom of it. Aha! That, I guess goes on top of this this pagoda thing over here because it's not quite it's not quite the right shape is it now what am I supposed to do here okay so there's different things that pop out that's going to pop something out the top that we can stack something on that would be a useful position, maybe. A little arrow. These supports could hold something up. Yes, they could. And this. You can attach something here. Okay. Just on the window, nowhere else. So I guess we've got to find other items that go in different places on this. That something goes on top. Something goes... Well, that just goes like that. And something goes in the window. And I can drop that if I want to as well. No, I, don't, I don't think I was finished with that. So I can actually completely take that out if I want to. Huh. Okay, interesting. These supports could hold something up. And that gets me something on the roof. And that's get gets me something in the window. The question is what? Oh, and there's this. I can't which I can't move. Wait. Can't can't shift that back. Can do that though. And that gives us this thing. It's like a spear of some kind, maybe? A harpoon? Ah, surely this has got something to do with the, uh... With the maritime room then, right? You would think. Some sort of use for a harpoon in the old maritime room? Let's have a quick look at the end of this harpoon. 
just a just a straight harpoon it looks like these should move it looks like these move in and out is there any use for a harpoon here anywhere That's got some kind of insect thing. I feel like that's got to have something to do with the garden. Can't do anything with the dragon's tails. This has nothing. That has a thing on the top of it. So some other shaped thing needs to go there. We need to find the other eye for the, op for the octopus. We've got that thing there, which looks like just a knife that we can have at some point. Let's go to the uh, maritime room. I feel like with a harpoon, right? It must be something to do with the... with the sea, surely. I could be completely wrong, though. And what do we need to attach to that thing, I wonder? Is the harpoon any use here, though? No. I mean, this is the only thing we haven't done. The harpoon doesn't shove into the side of there. Hmm. I don't think oh, this... Wait. This thing. Probably launches the harpoon. Yes. The question is, what are we going to... do with it. Ah, so you had the harpoons on whaling ships and stuff like that. Oh. Can we aim this? We can. How do I fire? The only thing I can aim at is like that ring there. How do I fire it? Press that button. Nope. Have I got something still missing from firing this, do you think? Can I just release it with this? Nope, because that's not movable. Is there a button to fire it? I've got to hit the bell. With the harpoon. There must be a button to fire this, surely. There. You just pull that to the side. We've got a ringing bell. Which is now broken. What did that do for me? Shall we go outside and see? A small iron bell. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's pretty much all I've done. I've just broken the bell. Yeah. And I don't know what it's for. I get the repair bill for this, uh, this weird doll's house thing, yeah. Is that doing something? Back to you, Dad. No, okay. Right, so what would I... I had some weird so now we need to work out what the bell's for. So it's got a little kind of thing on it. To hang it on something. <laughs> I'm still none the wiser as to what it's for. It's seven bells. Does it look... I mean, it's hard to really say. It's not a very good bell, look, it's just fixed in place. Replace their bell with, I don't know how it was ringing. So a bell. Is that bell shaped? No, it's not. It's a bit of a silly question really, isn't it? It wasn't bell shaped at all. So what use would a bell be to me? 
at this stage. That's done. There's this bit. I don't know how to open that. It's not going to be with a bell. There's these things. Which tie in with the... Which tie in with the bench downstairs. There's that, which we need to find some sort of thing to go into. There's this. Which isn't a thing we can look at. Hmm. I feel like we haven't done very much in this room yet. Can I go up those stairs? This isn't the house of Da Vinci. Can I put the bell... ...on there? No. It's not that. There might be more to that thing. There might be more to that thing. Yeah, I don't want to think how how expensive the repairs might be on this thing. On this weird house. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> right. I don't think there was anything to put a bell on in the other place. I don't really know what there would be a bell for here, to be honest. It's not going to go there, because it doesn't have any fixtures to go there. That's just a pearl, completely round, no slots or sockets on it. That's done. I assume that's done. See, again, four of these things with the same sort of socket shape. Can I look at this? Remember, this has these little slidey things. Which I guess allows something to move. We have this, which we can move if we could get rid of these clasps. I feel like there must be some way to get rid of those. And obviously there's a way to get rid of those kind of brass clasp things. Because there's one on every single one of these. And I guess as we do that Oh yeah, look, so this would allow me to drag these across to the different sockets there. And then they would start working in whatever way they're supposed to work. Same with that one. Up and across, and then they'll link up and that'll all work. I wondered that myself. I was, I was seeing if these turn or slide in any way. If... You need to put these in a particular position to move these. There doesn't seem to be any specific way to do that. These don't move. They've got like buttons on them. And I don't think there's anything on the other side of them. All that tells me is that that's supposed to move. There's this. Again, nothing interesting in it. It looks like water's supposed to come out of there, look. From... So it looks like these might be... Yeah, look, these are pumping water across the whole construct... The whole thing. And then they'll run the water over there. That's not a switch, is it? No. So these are gonna... So the water coming from this... Yeah, look, it's gonna run round that kind of... That kind of... I don't know, actually. I'm kind of assuming here, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know it is. So the water that's going into this will go round and will go through this and up into there, then there, then there, and then it'll do something. There's nothing more we can see in the uh, fountain. I hate to say, these puzzles are a little bit more confusing than they need to be. What's that? No, that's not anything. There are little kind of blue bits there, but they don't seem to... But yeah, these don't... Those move, but these don't at all. The water, maybe, when you get the water through them, maybe that's what gets them moving? Maybe? But how? 
This has like a triangular thing with three holes on it. Hmm. Well, we've checked those other two rooms. I don't see any obvious place where a bell would go. I don't think there's anywhere outside where a bell would go. Remember there was this as well, which needs some kind of thing on top of it. But that's not anything from what I can tell. So we can't go in the rooms that we've completed. Let's go back in here. I mean, bells, you know, the maritime sort of connection. Maybe a bell makes sense in that respect. I don't really see... the ships use a lot of bell used bells it almost fits I should take a closer look oh look right it would help if I'd looked at the bell it almost fits I should take a closer look oh wait look Ah. I've got to... The trouble is I've got to... Well, that's interesting. So that turned out it was a cog, not a bell. So we want the sea monster at the top, but it's got to be facing the right way. Okay, wait a minute. What do we want? We want the sea monster at the top, the boat in the bottom left, and the anchor in the bottom right. So they're in the right places, the problem is they're not in the right positions. And as I get them round there, they're not going to be in the right positions. Where are they? No, they need to be exactly in place. And it doesn't seem like... They're always just very slightly off. Okay. Yeah. So eventually they will go into a, a position that's roughly what we want. But not... Like basically that's the way they need to be but they need to be slightly to the left I think don't they hmm. so we can't adjust the pictures that's pretty much dead center isn't it I did wonder that Ah. Well, that's... But it does turn it, turn the entire... But that does solve that issue, doesn't it? There we go. Aha, uh -huh. so the outer cog turns. Which is good. And then this gives us a load of bits and pieces. Okay. What's that do? Ah. Oh yeah, okay. Ah. So this lets me... Why can't I... There we go. Aha! And that opens this, which gives us a switch, a striker, which will make something go bang, I guess. There might be a flash of light here, I'm not sure. Okay, it was just a, just a uh, hinge blowing off. 
Well, that's good. That gives us that wee box, which will give us something else. It's a shame that we have to completely destroy this thing. That game's very loud right now. The game is a bit loud, isn't it? Just turn it down just a touch. The game was suddenly very loud. Right, so that's going to finish off this room then. Yeah, you have to look at every item. Definitely have to look at every item. And just mess around with them to make sure that they're not something else, you know. But there we go, that's another room down. We know we've got the garden and the Japanese thing. And there's at least another two rooms after that. Well, I assume. Every time we do a room, one of those symbols gets covered, so I'm assuming there's four more rooms. What lies below will in in inexorably claw its way above, dragging the helpless back down with them. I've scoured the depths beneath the waves and emerged gasping. The maritime room. One second. There we go. It's done. Now let's have a look at this item. What item do we get in this box? Look, it's the symbol from the Japanese room. The parchment fan. There we go. Which I guess goes into... Now there's two places that this can go. Because one of the places is... Oh wait, does this show me the symbols that we need to have on it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So... From left to right, we've got like a triangle. I've got a pen that doesn't work. Then we've got like a diamond. Or a square, I suppose, but it's just on the on its corner. That pen does not work. And there's another pen here. Chance of this pen working are probably not great either. Diamond. Uh, we've got a plus sign. We've got an asterisk. And we've got a circle. I don't know if that's something we need to... Let's have a look at this fan. Can we fan it out? Oh, look, okay. So what we want is that to be there. We want the square to be there. Plus sign there. Circle down there, that kind of there, and that there. So what does that do? Does that do something if we put it in like that? I can pick this up again, yeah. Okay. So that was lined up but didn't do anything. But there's this thing here. I can pick this up again if I need to. Yeah, okay, but... Right, what's the point of it? Yeah. I'll put it back. That lit up. Oh yeah, because look, it doesn't all... Yeah. From that, that was... That was there. This is there. I wonder if there's anything if I look through the lens here. Yeah, but then there's these bars in the way that stop me from seeing anything. What if I look at it? And I can't look at it from the other side. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Can I move the beads? But I can't move the beads. So that bead's at the hole. 
the rest of them aren't. Oh, here we go. Now I can move them, maybe. Yes. Okay. Now we're talking. So maybe there's a message if we look at them now. Nope. Brass emblem must be connected to whoever fits here. Was that one in position, actually? They are all in position, aren't they? What if I... Nope. That's... That's surely the order it's supposed to be in. Although... Did that thing not light up a minute ago? When I did that. Wait, that's in the wrong order. That was in the wrong order. There we go. Now we've got it. Now we've got it. I had two of them in the wrong positions. And there's the symbol again. Ooh. This socket's a distinctive shape. This is this socket again that we don't have much of an understanding of. There's a hinged bit there that I guess opens, but not right now. These slide. Well, I assume these will slide, eventually. I guess these have got to line up with them somehow. Right. And there's another one of these here. So now we can have this knife. A blunt knife. What good's that going to do me? Does it do anything? Okay, we found a blunt knife. I feel like that's useful for something, but... Oh! That looks like maybe that goes in there? Yes, and then we put the pearl inside the clam. And that gives us a circular metal casting. That'll be the thing that goes around the window on that thing over there. It looks exactly like it. Closer. Window. So I wonder, does this stay on if I do this? Now that's interesting. Show me the bottom of that. Is that... in the right shape to go in one of these, do you think? we've got to shape it right to go into the thing yes it does okay interesting yeah and maybe the same for the dragon side as well sorry about the flashing it's gonna fly i think it's gonna flash every time we go into any of these things can i play with that scroll so I feel like I haven't done it quite yet. I feel like what I need to do is connect all these buildings up. And then I guess that'll do something else. So in and out of those, whichever one you do, you will... Uh... Right, I'm going to go back inside. So you're going to get another flash. So, okay, that gives us this. I wonder if I'm supposed to be paying attention to where these paintings are, or what these paintings are. And there we've got a gong. What does that do?
That's done something. Ah, okay, so we need to connect up to each of these each of these building things. Okay, I see. Right, we're gonna we're gonna get a flash again, and then we'll get a flash when we leave too. So I think we've got to go to each of these one after the other. Because I don't think there's a way to make the path go like to all of them at once. Right, so again we're gonna get a flash in a second. I don't know why it feels like it needs to have these bright flashes, but it does. So that'll get another one of those open. So the only other one we need now is this one here, which would be... No. Can't get up. Huh. This needs to be the opposite of that, so it has to be that one. Okay. That one has to be used to get that there, that has to be used to get that there, and then this. That should be it. That should be what we need. I tried clicking into that room. There we go. That's a, that's a fairly easy puzzle. And then I guess that'll open the front of this. And then we'll be able to get the thing back. And maybe we can then do something with the dragons. Right. Drawer opens. A carved brass eye. We know where that goes. Can I have this back? There we go. And that does that close itself again? Yes, it does. Okay. So we can go and put the other octopus eye in. Let's go and do that first. This was the opposite eye, so we'll pop it in and see what it gives us. What does it give us access to? It's going to move up slightly. And the tentacle's going to move out that's the box thing that we need to get out of the to get out of the room but obviously we need to do something to unlock it let's have a quick look up up close at this so what do we have here some sort of clamp that gives us a model spire oh that's going to go on the roof outside That's going to go on a roof outside. Does this fit this box? Is that the same shape? It doesn't fit, it's the wrong shape. So we need to find something else to get that working. The spire goes outside on that rooftop. There. I'm assuming the spire goes on here. It makes sense for it to go there. I'm guessing this is going to open as another room. Yeah. So we need to find another item or another couple of items for that... Uh, that pagoda thing to change the shape of that thing. I'm coming in this room from above. Let's go see what it is. So we've got three places open because we've got the garden, we've got this art studio and we've got the Japanese place. There should be one other after that. So there's a picture with two lights. There are two lights. I don't see where that would be. But then again, we are looking at a... We've got this. For which... Oh, that's where the box is going to be. We've got the thing with the... Oh, look. So, there should be an egg of some kind in this... 
thing. And again, we've got two of these. Well, look, that's... That was where there was an egg on one side and nothing on the other. A bench, some books, some paintings. No, I wasn't finished. Or maybe I was finished, I don't know. I wasn't quite finished looking in there. I don't think I was, because I didn't look this way. Wardrobe. Just a regular lock. That looks like it just pulls out, surely. Oh, hello. An intricately, decora an intricately decorated egg sculpture. Which I assume has got to go on that shelf downstairs. Where it said there was a thing. There's another one of those. And another one. Not a book in here? Yes, there is a book in here. Okay, remember, as soon as I open this book, it's going to be a flash. Oil painting. Advanced techniques. It says, Where are you hiding, Abigail? You've turned the house into a maze. It must still be here. I can feel it everywhere and nowhere at once. Why would you betray me when we're so close? I want only to share this with you to restore your family status and pride. Why do you fight me? You're still here. I can taste you. I will rip this house out from under you with my bare hands if I must. I tear through your sculptures. Imagine I'm tear nice. I'm tearing through your heart. You shan't stop me, Abigail. Right. Well, the only thing we've got out of this room was that. And the only possibility is this, where it tells me to put it in the bottom left-hand corner. In fact, that'll be what these... Oh, hang on. Go back to that a minute. That will be... So if I went to one of these things and took the egg... don't think this belongs here. Right, so this one's for... This one's for there. So we know now that that... We'll put an egg in there. It looks like we've got lots of slots for eggs or something, though. In this bottom section here. What does that do for me? It gives me a blue egg. Has that got beetles on it? Look. Blue egg with beetles. Looks like it goes on the far right hand one of these things on that garden thing. I assume. Okay. These are starting to become fairly easy. Well, so far. Doesn't mean... Doesn't mean they'll all be easy, but... This one goes here. Okay, and what does that do for me? Gives me a red egg. Odd. That's another beetle sculpture, but it's red. Yeah, famous last words. I shouldn't say things like that. So that gives me a beetle sculpture, but it's a red one. I think that goes there. Because of this. That's definitely got a reddish tinge to it. Don't think this belongs here, no. Okay. We'll try, the, we'll try the other one, because we're here already, so we may as well... Right, so none of them go there. A red one. A red egg. Um, Upstairs? There are only three places where eggs can go. Well, three rooms where the eggs can go. Oh, does this open? No. I don't want to just make it so that... Do you think on the display shelf, maybe? Shall we try the display shelves first? Could also go on the ones upstairs. That egg's covered up. I see. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, pretty much. The thing with these eggs is all we really have to do is go to the different slots and bloody try them. There's no... There might be clues to it somewhere, but okay, so it's definitely upstairs. 
So that's the only other place where there are egg slots. It's definitely that upstairs room. The thing with the eggs is that it's such an obvious thing to do is just do each bloody thing until we get the right one. You know, which seems a bit too easy, but there isn't a specific clue, is there? That's where it goes. This gives me... Ah, that's going to be a small stone carving. There's a triangular thing in the middle. Yep, that's going down there on the water thing in the garden. See, like, those eggs, that's really just a trial and error puzzle. That's the... That really is just a puzzle about trial and error. There's only so many sockets they can go on. Right, so this goes on the, the headdress of this statue. And what does that now do for me? Another egg? It's a wooden person. An artist's mannequin. Right, so that's going to change the, di the direction of the water. So go that way. Is that... There we go. Is that now going to make these other things work, do you think? I feel like that puzzle was just a little bit... That thing with the eggs was maybe just a little bit too easy. Right, so now does this get this working? Ah, so it gets that one working. Ah, see, and now the handle goes away. So that's easy enough. Up, across. I'm assuming that's all it is. Of course there would be a puzzle, wouldn't there? I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, though. Not just supposed to be doing the colour streak, am I? What would that be for? Oh, this moves. It's like a spirograph. Ah! To make that symbol. So it's not that. That's it. Yeah, there we go. So it's just a case of having to make the symbol that's on the thing. So that presumably will now... Yeah, the water will now go this way. And then we just do the same again with the next one. The next one's a little bit more difficult, mind you. Well, the next one's the star. That's not so bad. But then we have to combine both of them. Okay. So I feel like this needs to go down, across, up, left. There we go. That part of it's easy enough. So now we're doing a star. So what does this do? That does the, that does the circle. If we do it that way, we get that. Thank you very much for the follow, Ryan Mac 177 So now we need to get the star. Oh, that's it. Just need to move it fast enough to get the whole thing done, I guess. There we go. Well, that's easy enough. So does this have two points to it on the next one, I wonder? Because I can't see how... We would have to be pretty quick to get the star done and then the other one. Oh, there's a leaf. There's a leaf. Is that important? Probably not. Thank you very much. And then this one... <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> right, so it's not that way. Whereabouts are you yourself? Okay. Yeah, we're doing alright. Getting on okay, can't complain, so far at least. 
We might do quite regularly, but not tonight so far. Where's this? Ah, okay. I got it. Oh, you're from Stornoway, but you live in Dundee. All right, cool. Yeah, that's a, I'm a bit uh, I'm a bit closer to 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 Stornoway. Yeah, a wee bit closer. Which way am I doing this? Oh, I see. No, I don't see. I thought I saw, but I don't see now. Oh, now I see. A nice and easy one. I play all sorts of stuff, so I'm playing this puzzle game. I play like Dead by Daylight and other stuff like that as well, so a variety of things. Aye, there's an awful lot. There are there are quite a lot sort of the community I tend to kind of spend a lot of time around. There's probably only a couple that are from further north, you know? Most people are from Glasgow or Edinburgh or Aberdeen sort of thing. Aye. Aye, yeah, I play a bit on the a bit on the rust as well. Um, probably be doing a wee bit more of it, sort of on and off stream. Now that the now that the sort of um, after this wipe got done, obviously there's a lot. It seems like there's a lot more people playing now. So for a wee while there, it seemed like it kind of. I don't know. It seemed, almost seemed like it wasn't going to be. I wasn't sure whether anything was going to be happening. Right, so that's going to be the. It all seems to be going a bit better now, I hope. Right, so that's not going to work for that. Aye, that's a lot better. I think, the, I think, yeah, I think people probably, you know, a lot of people prefer the, prefer the guns and stuff, don't they? I think that was kind of the big thing. Not having the guns and things kind of made it maybe a bit of a turn off for some people. Okay, so the, the pink one is the star. I, I was kind of looking forward to the medieval thing, but I can... Oh, okay, I did it, apparently. But yeah, I mean, there was there was one time, there was one night last week I logged on and there was, like, one other person on, you know. And definitely with one or two people on, it's just, you can't really get much done, you know. Well, you can get plenty done, but it's not very exciting. Mm -hmm. That's it, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do like the... I do like playing with a bolt action. I think maybe the upside, the potential upside was that, uh, what's this? The potential upside was that people weren't all going to get uh, sniped from miles away, but it just didn't make it very interesting, unfortunately. I can see where the idea came from, but it just didn't really, didn't really work for everyone. So I'm glad it's gone back to normal. I'm fairly new to Rust, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty much when that server got launched that I kind of started playing it, so... Okay, so I can move these, but only... in certain directions. But there's so much good stuff going on on there. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I'm not much either. I'm not much of a PvP player either, to be honest. Uh, I like the raids when there's other people about. You know, I do like... I do like kind of groups and stuff. Um, which was kind of annoying because I've been playing it kind of my, just kind of almost by myself for, for most of the time I've been on the server, you know. Um, last time, on the last wipe, I, I kind of joined up with um, Gamer Fiend and some people. And so it felt like it would be a lot better with a team, definitely, I think. Running out on your own trying to do everything is just a nightmare. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't really understand. There's also these things. Can I change this? Oh, I can change that. Ah. But only... I can change the shape of that. Okay, yeah, that might work. Move that one. It'll be good when they bring in... Yeah, when they bring in sort of clans and stuff like that, that'll be quite nice to get people together. Because I think that's one of the big things, you know. You definitely need to... You definitely need to have a bit of a team going. And obviously some people have done quite well out of having... out of having kind of established teams already, you know. 
um, the GST stuff and all the rest. Is that it? Or is that? That's got to be it, surely. Which, I mean, I know that some people sometimes get kind of annoyed by that whole thing, but it makes a lot more sense to have a decent sort of team together. That looks like it's done. That looks like it's done. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is in the way. But no, definitely teams seem to make it a lot more fun, I think. You know, teams make it a lot more enjoyable. I feel like I'm almost, I'm almost right. I'm almost right. Yeah, but without a doubt, the, the teams are definitely more exciting. And I, I, I'm not great at the sort of, some of the RP sort of style stuff that people are doing, so it's great to have just a bit of my blue circles at the bottom. Which, which one are we looking at? It's that blue line, I think, that's the problem. And there's two blue lines. Oh, I, I think I see. These need to be on the opposite sides. These need to be turned the other way, don't they? Like that, you mean? I got you. But then it's got a line going that way. That's frustrating. That will only lock in place there. I I have to admit, yeah, I I um I was at the point of thinking about about dumping the game entirely, and then obviously with things that changed, it definitely fixed a lot. I can't lock that in place. Anywhere there. That's too far. I think the white one's right. But yeah, that's that's definitely a good thing. I think teaming up's definitely definitely going to be a good idea. Um, and I definitely need to, to sort that out a bit more, I think. Is that? I definitely need to think about kind of teaming up with people a wee bit more, I think. On the game. Is it that? Why does it... Oh, nightmare. I see what you mean. No, because that's... Ah, I think because that's something that they're adding. That's something that's being added to Rust by, uh, by the developers, isn't it? So it's... It's something that's kind of come in. Um, could be interesting to see how that all works. Uh, what have I got wrong here? I feel like these just need to rotate very slightly. That's too far though, surely. Yeah, see, now it's too... Now it's too far that way. Weird. Turn the side blue thing 180, then the blue ring. You mean this one here? The lighter coloured one? The side blue thing 180. So this one. Turn it 180 degrees, so you want it about there. That was before I moved... <laughs> Oh my god. Well, let's just see what happens. That's it! You got it. You got it. Either you got it, or we both somehow came to... We both somehow came to a, a solution, somehow. <laughs> One way or another, we managed it. 
<laughs> we got there in the end. But no, I quite like, um, with Rust, I mean, I quite like some of the, I like, quite like a lot of the creative stuff that people have been doing as well, you know. I do all right with the bolt action, but I tend to lose it quite quickly. Right, this room's going to go away now. I tend to lose them multiple times, so... I've learned not to get too tied to anything in Rust. I think that's a, I think that's an important lesson to learn in Rust, is just don't get too tied to anything. <laughs> do, 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 do. Aye. My, my, um, progress at the moment is a little slow, um, although I had unlocked most of the first level workbench and a decent amount of the second one. Uh, it's that grind to get the level 3 workbench that's going to be a bit of a nightmare, you know? <laughs> I know your opinion on Rustlin, yes. Yeah. It's... I have to, I mean, I have to say that, that probably the, the least exciting part is definitely um, going looking for resources and stuff, without a doubt. And then there's a variety of other things that's possible. Aye. That's it, yeah, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to unlock everything, without a doubt. I was, like, normally what I would do, um... It is, it is enjoyable, um, this is a mechanical cicada, it is, a, it, I, de I definitely enjoy it, but I can understand why sometimes it may not be very exciting when you're, when you're bashing, uh, you know, when, when you're bashing barrels and stuff like that and just mining resources, it's not very exciting, but when there's a wipe or whatever, it's a little bit more interesting. So what's this for? Mechanical cicada. Oh, I know where that goes. That goes in here. Neil Sedat, no. A mechanical cic cicada, which goes down there. Yeah, it's definitely more. It's definitely more interesting when there's a bit more action going on. It's it's like they aim to kind of survive, but it's yeah, it's definitely not for everyone without a doubt. It's not a game for everyone. It's not gonna interest everyone, of course, because no game is. Yeah, you know? yeah. Teaming up the 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 pressure of some of the games is definitely a lot easier to deal with if you're teaming up with somebody. Okay. We've got some chains. And if I go on that side. We've got some chains. Does this show me something I'm supposed to do with these dragons? It is one of those games that sometimes, I suppose, as well, you know, with some games, it's always easy, it's it's always preferable to kind of try try a game if you can, you know. But yeah, it's a. Uh... What is the point of this? So I can open these, I can open the mouths on these dragons. And then if I look in this thing, it doesn't... No, that's it. It's, it's, you know, as with anything, you know, there's a variety of different, uh, there's a variety of different things people are going to either enjoy or not. And it's, what's the, what's the wee man for? Can we do anything with the wee man? The wee mannequin. Yeah, I have to admit. I mean, I've 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 had it installed, and then I've I've been playing it pretty much as since I since I got on the server. I've been playing it pretty much when I get a chance. You know, when I'm when I'm when I'm off work or or whatever, I, I do tend to play quite a lot of it off stream. Um, mainly, I try and do the I try and do the. Um, what are you doing? A cat next to me that's trying to climb up stuff. Um, I haven't felt the need to uninstall it yet. I've not kind of raged about it. I find a lot of games. Yeah, that definitely goes in the artist's room somewhere. 
Up we go. Yeah, he's disappeared again. He's disappeared again. I'd, I'd be able to show you him stretching up through up over the door frame, but he's uh, he's wandered off before I had the chance. He's wandered off. Ah, look, here we go. That goes on the windowsill, of course. And it, and then, can I turn it? Right, so what's this? Then there's that. When Lemmy got one done, you tried to get in Robo's server. You were on that one. And you got into the Q11 last week. Yeah, it's, um... There's a lot of... There's Obviously, there's a lot more kind of... I, I, I never really tried... I never really um, tried the other server because I managed to... I managed to get in fairly sort of quick... Fairly early for the... For this one, for you know, when obviously pre sort of Q eleven, um, and so I never really tr sort of tried on the other one, but this one's really good. I mean, this one I quite like the fact that it feels a lot more, it feels a lot friendlier, you know, than. I mean, I've not really done much in the way of public Rust servers, um, because I know that public servers can be, well, they're not exactly ideal for streaming. I think would be. Uh, would be the best uh, the best way to describe them. Can I, can I move any of this? Can I do anything with this thing? No. So it's in place, but it doesn't seem to be for anything. Got a keyhole. So that's all that's there. We must have to do that other thing. But yeah, I'd heard that that was a really that was a really good one as well. But there's definitely a good sort of sense of kind of a almost a kind of community about this one you know because it's obviously a lot more people are more willing to leave people's kind of kind of community builds alone um ever since jojo service not been the same until then yeah i mean i that was one of the reasons so i mean i've been streaming for a while but the computer i had before was terrible um and one of the things that that kind of drew me to getting a better computer was watching people play on the Rust server before, you know. Um, watching people play on the Rust server before really had me quite interested in playing it and joining up with all that kind of stuff happening with uh, with Roscoe and everybody, you know, and Ted30 and, and all that stuff, with the stuff that had kind of gone on early on in that that was quite it was quite good for sort of stories. There was there was obviously some of the stuff that happened at the end that it's probably better not talking about. Um, But yeah, so that was one of the things that kind of drew me to, to playing Rust, to be honest. I'd, I'd always had it in mind as a game I wouldn't have minded playing. Um, and then to get a to get a server together that's actually quite... I no, I, it was, you know... It was a shame the way it ended, I think. Now, these are... I need something to go in the top of this. Because it was a, it was a really good, it was a really good server at the time. You know, it was, it was, it was really watching all the people kind of come together. And obviously, there were people just doing their own thing and not really getting involved in the kind of role play side of it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, a, it was quite an interesting sort of server to see, and you branched off to the, the Welcome Isles. I'd heard about that, yeah, but you're saying it just wasn't the same, just wasn't the same sort of thing. There was definitely, I mean, even although there was always sections where like loads of people were kind of ganging up, there, it always felt like it was more, um, it was quite good for people kind of getting together and doing stuff. Oh, what the hell? Right, see, I didn't know I could move the entire dragon. like can I move it in and out or just up and down so we can move the dragons I I think that seemed to be I wonder 
that seemed to be the case kind of coming to the end the, the, yeah, of things. Obviously, a lot of the population kind of died off. I think there was a bit of that, obviously, with this one as well, but that's mostly, I think, because of the, the sort of idea of the kind of primitive wipe just didn't really go over very well, did it? Right. Oh, hello. Why, why won't it let me... There we go. Okay. Give me that dragon's head. Right. Now what? Now go back here? Ah! Break the chains! Break the chains! Okay, and I can do another one if I just open its mouth again. No, I can't because obviously that doesn't work. That's very strange. Ah, uh, it's... I suppose it's one of those things as well. It kind of goes in waves, doesn't it? You know, there's going to be periods where people are enjoying it. Pe people are going to take breaks from it as well. Um, times when it's maybe not going to be going the way people want it to. I like that there's a good mix of... Um, that there's a good mix of community builds and... Uh... There we go. And like regular builds as well, you know. There's nothing to grab onto. There's nothing to grab onto with this dragon. I mean, there's that bit behind, but can I turn the table? Right, let's have a look at what's on here. So there's like a lever there. That doesn't do anything. I feel like we need a dragon to... Oh, wait. Ah. Now it makes sense. You're trying to raid folk who've wronged you. That kind of makes sense. That makes sense. The bottom, yeah, we managed to, we managed to get it rotated. So I need to open this mouth. That seems pretty standard on the server, I think. There we go. There's an awful lot of, uh, there's a, there's a good mix, you know, of people who are getting involved in the kind of combat and stuff like that. And I know there's a lot of people who were, oh, there we go. Who weren't so interested in the, the 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 medieval wipe or whatever you want to call it who are now very happy to be getting back into the pvp and stuff right so what's that we've opened a drawer aha and that goes on top of that pagoda thing turn that off that goes on top of this pop that in change it to that Oh no, no, that's wrong. It goes there. Right. Now what? Let's see what the image is on the bottom of there now. So hopefully that's going to go on the dragon thing. Guess we'll see, and then we might be able to turn this round so the dragons can break the other ones. But no, it's been a, it's been a great server to be on so far. Um, generally. You know. Oh. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting involved in a bit more combat and stuff like that instead of just kind of running about. So I'll probably be looking at starting to do that in the in the streams that I do do for uh, for Rust. But there's so many other games I want to play as well that it's kind of getting the time to get them all to play them all, you know? Okay, so I can do one or the other. I can't do both. Right. But definitely seems like it's getting a bit more life in it now, and hopefully that's a hopefully that's a good sign. I wonder if because it's biting down I can move the other one now. Yes I can. I mean that's easy enough. Snap. And what does that do for me? Gives me this cog. Oh. Well, that's not so good. I guess now I need to get them to release it. Maybe. No, because I can't open their mouths. 
Well, how do I get... These need to be level. What's the... What's in here? Did we look in here? We didn't, did we? Okay, so I need to level these so that then we can walk right across. That's confusing. So how do I get this to come up? Or that to come down? Can I just move... You know, I'm sitting there saying, how can I get that to come down? Can I not just move the dragons? So that it's lined up like that? Of course I can. Of course I can. <laughs> Hopefully that should be it. Yes. And then pop in. But yeah, it's going to be fun to see what happens over the next wee while. And with the... I can see that, like, Lumi and 1030 are still kind of popping in and out now and again, so... They were in the other night anyway. They were in on the... On the evening that the new map came on, I think. Doing the usual stuff. So it should be interesting to see how things go with it. Hopefully we can keep the server going for a while. There we go. Pagoda Roof and Spire. That gets rid of this whole thing with the dragons. Presumably. Does it all go away? Does it pack itself away? Right, so we know that now we can get the last part of this. Hooked up over there. Get out of there. But yeah, I'm interested to see what people are going to be building. I tried to build like a horse racing track last time and I didn't get very I didn't get very far with it. Uh, not last time, a couple of a couple of wipes ago now. I didn't get very far with it, but Where's the so where's the last shape gonna go? Was there a fully star shape bit? There was, wasn't there? Oh ho. Oh ho ho, what's this? A cloth farm, nice. Finding all the hemp seeds and stuff. These are like switches. Oh, what in the world is this now? Oh, I see. Or do I? Do I see? So if I touch that, it gives me a light. Oh. Ah. Then I can make that light go there. No. Odd. No light if I do it that way. No light if I do it that way. But there is a light if I do it that way. I've got to connect these somehow. Well, I, I don't tend to... I do tend to eventually, I mean... The first, the first wipe I found, I just grew lots of pumpkins. But then the last couple of wipes, I've not been near water as much, so I didn't really manage to do that. But yeah, I mean, the great thing with the pumpkins, obviously, is you eat the pumpkin, you get more seeds. And they're really good for uh, for healing. Uh, so, yeah, it's an electrical circuit of some kind. I'm just trying to work out how we would... Ah, okay, so that's not connecting to the... Ah. So that now connects to that one... Aha, I get you. I get you. Pumpkin, potatoes, corn and berries, yeah. Good for getting more seeds. Oh, why is that? Did that light up? Yes, it did. Okay. So now this one... Won't. So something's... Oh, wait, I see. I get it. That. Then what? Oh wait, and then up. Okay, that's the red circuit done. So now I guess we need to do the... Yeah, that's what's good. Plenty of seeds. Plenty of seeds out of those, so plenty more crops you can grow. I started as well, um, last time I started using the... Um, obviously the ability to, to clone them. So I'd find one that was almost kind of perfect. Uh, that turns that way. No. Oh, wait. Yeah. 
And then that one goes down. Okay, this is easy enough. I definitely need to find something to kind of farm, I think, to get things going. Then I can set up like a wee shop or something, you know? Get a few more interactions with people because I've got like a wee shop selling well, pumpkins and stuff. This room is now complete. And we only have two rooms to finish. Or think up some kind of creative idea. Or just get into a big group with a nice big uh, with a nice big area a nice big uh, castle or fortress. I definitely after doing a brief thing with like gamer fiend and people, I definitely want to try and get into a or an island, yeah. An island, that's a good point. I don't think is there Is there an island space on this map? I feel like most of it's all land. Uh, what's that? Travelers are easy prey, seduced by the mysteries of a new world. The seal's nearly broken, but it's my journey ending. Or am I but one more naive traveler? Welcome, traveler. But yeah, an island would be good. Oh, you've claimed it, have you? Nice. Nice. How many of you are on there? Right, so this box will have something useful inside it, as it usually does. You could paint the wall next to you and watch it dry. <laughs> oh, there's the window thing. <laughs> I understand. Eight with more to come on, nice. That's a good, that's a nice good sized group. That's a good sized group to get to get going. Right, so this has to go somewhere here. What was the what was the uh, design on that again? That. So it was the kind of diamond ended one, bottom right. So that one needs to go there. This one up. Move these. This one up here, and then it was like the other way around, wasn't it? Was it like that? Yes, it was. But now what do I do with it? Outside. Okay, we need to go outside and stick this on one of the buildings, I guess. So the window that's looking out is that window there. Look. Can we look in the window? No. So what would that be connecting to? What's that? What's that stained glass window supposed to go on? There. Because there's one missing. Hopefully I've done that right. That's a nice big group though. Aye. So that when the thing's looking out the window it sees it. What's that for? Oh, I can turn the... Ah, I can turn the tower. That must be it then, surely. Surely that's surely that's right then, right? Well, not quite. One more rotation. One more rotation? Yeah, one more rotation. And then it should be in the right place. Let's have a look. So surely this is right now. Nope, because now I can't see it at all. Oh no, there it is. I feel like that might be too far now. I think that's too far now, isn't it? Rotate it very slightly back the other way. It seems to lock in a very specific position, though. But it did seem like I maybe went a bit far that time, doesn't it? it did seem like I went a wee bit too far. Yeah, that's going to be it now. And then just... 
What's the point of it? What what's definitely got that right, haven't I? Yeah, the right the right layout. That's odd. I feel like he's right he's like there. What am I supposed to do with that? So now it's too... He's too high. He's too high up. Isn't he? Can this tower come down, maybe? No, all we can do is turn it. And if I turn it there... It's going to be too far the other way. Yeah, that's definitely not it, because you can't see it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything when you when you use the lens on the painting. It's odd. It's very strange. It looks like it needs to... It looks like it's lit up in the picture, whereas it doesn't look like it's lit up there at all. And you don't see much, if anything, of the spiky roof. Unless... No. I feel like it's too low. That's definitely too far. There we go. Oof. That's definitely too far. Isn't it? You can see part of the roof. Yeah. Oh, wait. That wasn't there before. That wasn't there before. Why did that just suddenly appear now? Made an infinity symbol? That was strange though, because it didn't show up the first couple of times. Oh mind you, I didn't check it when we were uh, when we had it in the right place, did I? There's a key. There's a key! That key will be for this wardrobe, I assume, because this is the only room we've got left to do, so... Let's have a look. What am I doing here, then? Am I just doing the same thing again? Just filling in the... just filling in the shape. That's all we're doing, just filling in the shape. Okay. And now that burns something else into the image. This is very confusing. Fiery figures. A big slash. He goes for a big slash. Something like that. He's just spurting blood everywhere. something breaks he does something else oh he's, is he cutting the paint into bits there were still plenty of these podiums for eggs but it seems like none of them really matter oh look this level's finished because that'll uh, close off the room now and then there's only one more location apparently I don't know what the last location will be. What will the last place be? I guess we'll find out inside that box that we just unlocked. So that's going to cover up another one of these, leaving one left. I'm assuming it's going to be that one that gets covered. 
I think that was the symbol to get in there. Hmm. The whole thing's covered. And we're in to something. I've plucked every limb from this beast, now only the heart remains. Ooh. What does that mean? Let's open this thing first and see what it tells us. What it gives us. A piece of a shield. A family crest. With a couple of notches in it. Okay, well, I'm going to quickly go to the toilet. I'll be back in a minute and then we'll continue. very quick <laughs> so yeah over the next um week or so because i've because i've finished my job now until i start my new one in a week we'll probably look at doing some extra kind of streams or maybe some longer streams the attic we're back here again so i'll maybe do a wee bit more rust at other points in time as well maybe if i get the time to There's a note. Abigail, if you're hidden, reveal yourself. Perhaps together there's still hope. Never again will I threaten you. I feel better now. I can see clearer. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. The house is not itself. I'm leaving a trail of notes, but they amount to little help. Occasionally I stumble on a note. I swear I've yet to write. If you see me, tell me to stop and rest. You were always the one who made me rest. Very nice. Okay. What's this? Oh, hold on. Can I move this? Does this go somewhere? Okay, I probably need to put something in there. I wonder if that means we have to go and look at all the rooms that we did before. No. Nope. There are tentacles everywhere, but there's another window here with something going on. There he is. Can I take? Okay, he's moving. Um, Celtic was here the other night when I was doing when I was doing Rust. Celtic came on. So it's definitely been about... There we go. Was that it? Oops, I'm not sure... ...what he's been up to since. But yeah, he was, he was definitely on. He was on... He was on the other night. Having a wee chat. Okay, so we've got to go in, like, multiple versions of this attic. Right, what are we looking for here? So, can I turn this so that he can walk here? No, I need to find the room that he's in. 
Okay, then there's this room. So I guess we've got to get him to go in there. Oh, there's another note. Doors open. Oh, close that. Doors open, brick walls, stairs lead nowhere. The house shifts and coils. I've searched this labyrinth for days. Always I'm led back here as though there's still something I'm to learn from these walls. You were right. You were always right. If you find a way out, do not hesitate to take it. Do not wait for me. Do not look back. Okay, well, there's two rooms there. Oh, so all the rooms here are open now. I see. So we've got to make a path. We've got to make a path that he can follow. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. So that he can get to the right room. Is it this one now? Yes, it is. Come on. Work. Why has that not worked? Why is that not working? Wait, is that the right way? That's just putting them back in that room. Can I change the room? Oh, I can change to the other room. Right, okay. Now that makes sense. That's kind of frustrating. Nope. What? Oh, wait. Turn him round. So we got to switch rooms as we're doing these. Yeah, but then he isn't there. Oh, he's there. Okay. That's all we need to do. We just need to get them to meet up. To meet up with each other. Again. How many times have I got to do this? Is it going to be the same puzzle every time? There's a lot less of the house left, though, every time we do this. It's a much longer letter. The books, they're filled with our thoughts, the entire library, month upon month of our lives. I've witnessed my own madness firsthand, the ramblings run for pages. I see now how terrible it must have been, I've read a book about me reading the book I'm reading. Here, I heard you like books, so... Read a book about a book. About a book. I know that you're no longer here, I've read your escape, thank god you're safe. My remaining hope is that you... is that one day you will return to find and read my apologies. I'll keep writing you for as long as I am trapped in this hell. I'm sorry, Abigail. I'm sorry. Now what? Okay. Can I move her now? No, it's still him I have to move. Okay, he's not in there. He's not in there. We might have to switch the rooms around. Here he is. Which room is she in? These are... The, no. These are the symbols for the room. What? So she's in that room. Which path do I need to take to get to that room? This one? Let me see. There. That takes us to that room with the shield. Which is this one. The flashing's going to be really annoying and I'm sorry. Can't turn that one. So where does that send him? Because we have to move the one that he's standing on. Right, which room's he in now? 
that one. Okay. We need to get him into this room. Oh, that's this one down here. There we go. But I can't get him to go in there. Hey, Celtic. You can't talk about the Indian restaurant to me anymore, that's true. Well, you can, but... You can, but I won't know as much about it. Yeah. Don't give him that much credit. <laughs> All that does is gets me that I need to get into this room so I can get into that room. How are you doing, Celtic? Nice to see you. Sorry about all this flashing, by the way. Oh, he's there now. Oh, wait. I'll try and reduce the flash in if I can. One sec. To something my uh, daughter's just done just now. She's done like a bead a beadwork. Uh, well, it's like stuff with like a tree frog thing. It's like little um, I don't know what they are like gem things. It's not beading. It's more like gems and things. But she's made a little tree frog. It's very nice. The flashing's okay. That's good. That's good. Don't want to cause any problems. No. What? Oh no, I need to turn him around. Go back in there. Is it that way? Is it that one we need to go? Yeah, I can, uh, I'll take a wee picture of it after, uh, when we're done. Can't do that. I can't do that. How did I get where I'm going? Yeah, the, the music is quite annoying, actually. Hopefully that's a little bit quieter, it won't be quite so bad. The music is was driving me mad as well, to be fair. I need to move him... ...in such a way that he goes... So she's in the room like that. So I need to get him into that room. Yeah, so surely... But I can't... Can't turn him round? Which room's that? Is that the kitchen? No, where is he? He's back in the he's back in this room. Okay. Maybe You can't talk about that anymore like that new annoying thousand pound a month in store credit you're all getting. Oh is it? Alright. Very good. That's a shame. I'll just have to. I'll just have to live without that. I guess. I'll just have to live without that. That's a shame. <laughs> My last shift was today, so I, I would know about that if that was a thing. That would be now. That would be something to give staff, wouldn't it? An in-store credit of a thousand pound a week, a month. 
I'm really quite frustrated right about now. I need to get into him into this room. How the hell do I get him into this room? Or maybe if I... No, because... Oh, wait. Where does that send me? That sends me into the room at the front. This room here. Which puts me to that room. Is that the room we were just in? I did, yes. I got... Um, I got a box of milk tray. There we go. Uh, a box of sweets. And an aftershave thing. And a bottle of Jack Daniels. And a card. There we go, look. So a nice selection of stuff, yeah. So it's another, a, a bottle of Jack Daniels to add to my collection of bottles of Jack Daniels. Because <laughs> I get a bottle and obviously it take, honestly it takes me months to drink a bottle. And what the hell am I supposed to do now? Oh, here we go. It's a bit of the family crest. Didn't I already place something here? You might have done. But you haven't got it anymore. Yeah. But it's 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 a nice thought, you know. It's a nice thing to do, because it's definitely not something that they had to do. But I had been there ten years, so... Maybe I should be saying it was something they had to do. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, am, what am I doing now? We need to find the other part of that crest. None of these things are are accessible anymore. Have I missed something? I've got no hints. No hint as to what I might be supposed to do. What's that? Ah, wait. There it is. And we've got a letter as well. Ah, uh, yeah, I like Jack Daniels a bit of coke. I don't, I don't drink it straight out. Uh, I do like Jack Daniels. Um, I don't drink spirits sort of straight, but generally Jack da Jack Daniels is the thing I tend to drink if I am having a drink. But I don't, I don't. When I'm sitting at home, I just don't drink that much, you know. Uh, I can search no longer. There's no point. I'm a rat in a cage. But only now do I finally see the bars. You saw it, Abigail. You saw through it from the start. Felt it worm its way through the house, our marriage, our lives, the dollhouse. You fed it the dollhouse. Quite brilliant. It's you the circle should have engaged, not I. Fly free, beautiful Abigail. I'm sorry, my dear. I am sorrow, he says. Yeah, usually, usually it's Jack Daniels and Coke. Jack Daniels is the main thing that I'll drink when I do drink. Um, a bit of cider, maybe, you know. I've got a bottle nearby that I haven't quite finished. Yeah, I have a a small bit left in that bottle. What is this thing? I'll have it. It's the null. The null. What do I do with the null? We're coming out. We're coming out of the house. We're coming out of the house. Through all the attics that we did. Bright light. Through all the rooms we did. Through everything we did. We found the thing we were coming here for. What happens now? Right. Oh, we've got a little a little slot to hold it in. Hmm. What does it do? Now we've got some walking feet. A lot of people in robes. A 
I've just realised that I've still got that filter for brightness on that's making the game a lot brighter than it should be because it's the Dead by Daylight one. What's this? Some sort of cult. Congratulations, we've completed the Room 4 Old Sins in 5 hours and 6 minutes. We navigated the labyrinth and halls of Waldegrave Manor and overcame the trials within, escaping with the null, sh the null sample intact. My employers have the soul they desired. Mr Lockwood's frustrated ambition made him perfect prey, but Mrs Lockwood is another matter. It seems it was the fate of all involved to underestimate her resolve. Even my employers cannot trace her. One who can evade the circle is one who must be found. Thank you for playing. We've worked hard to give you a fresh glimpse into the room universe. Hope you enjoyed this fifth game. This fifth game? This fourth game? Although technically it is the fifth, because I think there's a VR version as well. Uh, we sincerely value your support and any feedback you can give us. Turn the music down at the end. <laughs> Turn the music down at the end. Please. Don't have so much loud noise. <laughs> but other than that, it was a good game. Other than that, it was a good game. So we've got like an hour left. 